What is wisdom? That's what I'm going to talk about today. Book of Proverbs and the Bible clearly identify what real wisdom is. And I'll give you a real way you can tell when somebody is a fool and not really wise. Because they will say that they are an expert. And really, when you think about it, there is an expert in nothing. Because no one is always right in whatever field that they are in. This is why we have such heated political debates. Because a narrative has been set and they can't break out of the narrative. And you've seen this yourself when you're reading things. You might want to take it a certain way, but somebody will tell you, no, that's not, that's not the right way to take it. And you lose uh, the wisdom to make that choice, the freedom to make that choice. Now, before I get started today, all right, I am going to explain to you one thing that you need to really know if you're a new believer, a teenager, and you fear that you're going to face questions you can't answer. I've been studying this Bible for 40 something years. And in the beginning, I didn't do any outside research. I really didn't care other than I did an investigation for a period of time to make sure the word of God was really the word of God, that it really did come from God. And I looked into a lot of different Bibles and books and I was assured of that. But then when I started studying the Bible, what you see is that God says, happens. In the book of Isaiah, he'll tell you things that happened 200 years later with a specific name. And he's not isolated. There are many, many prophecies that you don't even see until you study the book more and more. It's never ending. It would take you entire life to understand the wisdom of God. And you still won't understand it. You still won't be an expert. The point is this. To be wise, you have to know you don't know everything. And you have to know the source of all wisdom comes from the Bible. And its proof does not require anything outside of the Bible. And thank God for archaeology because it's proven it true. And there's other things like that. But the Bible itself stands alone and proves itself to be true. So what is the attacks that people will make on the Bible? They will attack the Bible trying to discredit it. Why? Because if the Bible stands, then they are accountable to God. So here's the first step of wisdom. And then I'll go into part two of this one, uh, of this devotion number five. And that will be uh, the, some verses from it. But wisdom starts with God. You have to have that relationship with God. When my kids were growing up, I never forced them to read the Bible. I'm, I'm teaching classes now with kids in school. I don't force them to read the Bible. What I do is I try to encourage them like I am doing here. You need two things. Jesus Christ will give you the Holy Spirit and the Bible. When you believe that and you start reading it and have a relationship with Jesus, then you will know what wisdom really is. You see, you got you to gotta walk with wisdom to understand it. Not that you'll never make a mistake. You will. Because we got emotions and we got different things that get involved and we get lifted up and say, oh, I'm an expert in the Bible when you're not. You know, I, I do gym teaching for, for kids and anytime that I go to a new sport, they all tell me, I know how to play that. <laughs> and none of them, like basketball is a perfect one. None of them can dribble. They're not very wise because they're not listening. So we'll start, we'll close this one with this. As we go into these other devotions on Proverbs, listen, Shema, listen and do God's word. Build your faith in the Bible and know God is God and you're just a man. And until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.